Hello everyone. Welcome to Corporate Prayers. My name is Renny Sola. And tonight we are praying from the book of John chapter 11. Hi Danny, thanks for joining. We're praying from John chapter 11. God bless you. We're reading from verse 17 to... 43 to 44 verse 7 to 44 amen hey yeah uh, while we wait for more people to join let's just sing this beautiful song by victoria renze it's called spirit chant she just goes she just speaks in tongues saying hey yeah yeah hey yeah yeah hey yeah yeah Hey ya ya hey ya ya hey ya ya hey hey ya ya 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 hey hey ya ya 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 hey Sing in the Holy Ghost Dance in the Holy Ghost Move in the Holy Ghost Amen Amen Thank you Lucy for joining Please go ahead and share this live with at least two people okay two people the Lord is here and today we are the title of our message today is Jesus my Savior is here Jesus my Savior is here my victories are secured because Jesus my Savior is here Jesus Christ my Savior is here and tonight's tonight's message tonight's message is sort of a question and an answer why should my child die when Jesus, my savior, is here? Why, sh why should I lose my marriage? Or why should I lose my testimony? Because G when Jesus, my savior, is here. So we are here to decree the word, declare the word of God over our lives and our situations. And we are here to call forth the power of God. The Bible says there is salvation for those who believe in him we will never be put to shame now our faces are radiant we are never covered with shame because when we call god hears us and he will save us that's a very very powerful scripture that i love love to that i love so much i just love to remind myself And I even composed it into a song saying, Now my face, now now our faces are radiant. We're never covered with shame. For when I call, the Lord heard, He saved me. Oh, our faces are radiant. And we will shine like the sun. For when I call, the Lord heard, He saved me. Oh, he saved me. Yes, he saved me. For when I called the Lord heard, he saved me. How many of you are ready to call on God this morning, this evening? How many of you are ready to call God forth? See, God is interested in our minute in the minute details of our lives is interested in your deadlines your work deadlines your school deadlines he's interested in your progress he's interested in your relationships god is interested in every aspect of your life he's interested in the clothes you wear he's interested in the food you eat he's interested in so he says even before we ask or pray our father in heaven knows what we already need so he's prepared to give everything we need to us because he cares for us because he loves us and i just want us to relax i mean it's easy for me to say this now is this for you to say this when you know all things are going fine and you know you're in a good place in life but then the the trick is when you are now in a storm 
right the the disciples when they were in a storm even though they were with jesus they began to doubt they said this guy is sleeping like does he not realize we are literally about to die but how can you die when christ my savior is here when you have problems i want you to decree over that issue how can i die how can my marriage die how can my testimonies die how can my career die how can good things that are that god has blessed how can it go bad how can it go sour when christ my savior is here i want us to be confident in the love that god has for us you're going to speak to everything that is not going in your working in your favor and we're going to speak the word of god because our faces shall be radiant over that situation we will testify over that situation amen we will testify over your marriage we will testify over your house we will testify over your over your children over your testimonies we will testify say i will testify because christ my savior is here i will testify because christ my savior is here thank you so much for joining we will testify and our faces shall be radiant we will glow like the sun because whatever we call on god guess what he hears us amen now let's go into our scripture for today heavenly father we thank you for your word we ask oh lord that you breathe upon this word let it come alive in our hearts in our minds in our spirit soul and body in our lives in our situation the same way lord you came and you raised lazarus back to life we are here god and we know that that dead situation that dead problem that dead whatever it is that we are waiting on you for Father, Lord, we know that it will rise. It will come back to life. Say, my testimonies will come back to life. In the name of Jesus, amen. Because Christ, my Savior, is here. Because Jesus, my Savior, is here. So we are here to speak life. We are here to decree life. And it's just an interesting story. I want us to pay attention. And God would, God would speak and do his marvelous works in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. So, Jesus comforts the sisters of Lazarus. On Jesus' arrival, from verse 17, Jesus found that Lazarus has, had already been in the tomb for four days. Now, Bethany was less than two miles from Jerusalem, and many Jews had come to meet the sisters, Martha and Mary, to comfort them because their brother had died. But when they heard Jesus was coming, guess what they said? Like, and and this is, okay, before I jump, this is just the beautiful part about it. They said to Jesus in verse 21, Martha said, if you had been here, Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, God will give you whatever you ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, this is the confidence that we have. They knew if Jesus had been here. But guess what? We have Jesus in our hearts. Once we accept him as our Lord and Savior, our personal Lord and Savior, he says, I will go and I will send my Holy Spirit who will minister to you. That is the Spirit of God because he's three in one. He's the, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So he says, when I go, you will have my Spirit and you will have my Spirit. I will pour my Spirit out on all flesh. And Jesus is in us. Jesus is in his word. This word we are reading now has is filled with the word of God. This word we are sorry, this word we are reading now is filled with the power of God. It's filled with Jesus Himself. So that is another interest, that's another reason why at corporate prayers we pray using scriptures. Because the Bible has told us that in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So whenever you call the name Jesus, he appears. I don't know, it was um, Pastor Tolu Odukoya Jogun that said this. She says, when you call someone's name, what happens? They appear. She said, when you say, what's your name? 
Lucy. And if someone calls you Lucy, you look back, right? If someone calls me Renny, I'm like, yes. That's the same way Jesus responds. When we say Jesus, it's like, yes, baby. <laughs> That's me, by the way. <laughs> I don't know what he calls you, but I'm his baby, right? When I say Jesus, he call, he he responds. And that's what happens for all believers, for all who believe in him. When we call on the name of Jesus, he saves, he answers. So we are here tonight to call on the name of Jesus. And our God will answer us. Say, my God will answer me. He is going to answer me. He will answer you. He will answer us by the mighty power in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I just want us to take our first prayer point because um what martha said she says but i know she felt that jesus was because Jesus was absent her brother died but then she still had faith she said but i know even now god will give you whatever you ask for so so sometimes we go through situations where it's like our faith is already sealed Yes, our God answers prayers. We go to situations where, where it feels like our faith is already sealed. And in this case, they had already believed that Lazarus is dead. Even though Jesus said he's sleeping. Jesus says he's sleeping. But I, wanna, I want us to go a little bit further before we take the prayer. Our first prayer point. This is what Jesus said to her. She had faith. And this is the evidence of her faith. Martha said, my brother is dead already if you had been here he would not have died but i know that even now that you are here god will give you whatever you ask and immediately what did jesus say your brother will rise again say my my testimony will rise again this is the time to pray over that thing that has that looks seemingly dead and forgotten have you been waiting to see a miracle in your life in your marriage have you been waiting to see a miracle in your testimony this is what happens guys when jesus is here he's like i told you today's scripture is all about questions why should my business fail when Christ my Savior is here? Why should my marriage fail? When Christ my Savior is here? Why should anything bad happen to me? When Christ my Savior is here? Can never. It can never. And even though the devil tries. Because he tried that with Jesus. But in the end, what happened? In the end, it shall speak. Say in the end, it shall speak. What shall speak? The glory of God. Because Christ in us, the hope of glory. In the end, it shall speak. And devil thought, I have dealt with Lazarus. I have killed him. I have killed him. The devil thought, oh, he's dead. We've taken him out. This one, God said he wants to use him, but I will take him out. Because why? God tells us that the devil comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And partially... Um, in our inner circle, and those that are doing our Bible challenge, the corporate prayers Bible challenge, we're currently reading Job. We just finished reading Job. And we learned how Job was questioning God. But in my own opinion, I'm like, bruh, this isn't God. God is too good for all this calamity. <laughs> I know where Satan is at work. See, all your problems, blame it on the devil. This, this devil is a wicked devil. Satan is very wicked. Like God already told us, he comes to steal, he comes to kill, and he comes to destroy. And in my head, my the prayer, the warrior in me, the prayer warrior in me is like, if only this guy should just target his prayers on Satan for once. <laughs> Can he just say, Holy Ghost, that devil that is tormenting my body, that is giving me balls, go and fight him. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know what you guys would do, but that's what I would do. Job was in a dire situation. The devil killed his children, destroyed his wealth, destroyed his finances, destroyed even his health, if afflicted him with terrible sicknesses. And I and reading that reading his you know his chapter and all through. This guy did not even for once say, 
or maybe he said it and it wasn't recorded but so far all we could see was job saying god what have i done i mean i understood his complaints but can you just acknowledge that all these things can be things can go wrong in your life when christ is here and i was sharing we have we're, we're also doing like some marital prayers at the moment and i was sharing the ladies on the line when i was less than a year in, in, into marriage and then covid struck i told the devil you came to the wrong house did you see my address jesus lives here <laughs> jesus lives here his angels are here so why should covid come to my house out i chased it out god and his angels commanded the devil to get out of my home and that's what we are about to do that's what i'm about to do and so because christ in us the hope of glory we are going to call on jesus we are going to call jesus into our marriage into our marriages we are going to call jesus even if you are not married if you desire it pray this prayer you're going to call jesus into your situation into anything that does not look good like your economic issues you're going to call god and guess what he's going to show up because his name is above every other name because god has given it and given him a name above every other name that at the mention of the name of jesus that situation must bow that sickness must bow. That poverty must bow. Barrenness must bow. Lack must bow. Sickness must bow. Failure must bow. Delay must bow. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now let us begin to call on the name of Jesus. Just begin to say, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is here. Jesus is in my marriage. Jesus is in my career. Jesus is in my business. Jesus is in my finances. Jesus is here. Why should things go wrong in my life? When Jesus is here, the devil is a liar. The devil must bow. If anybody must bow, it's not I. The devil must bow. If anybody, if anything should bow, it's not you. It's the devil. Because Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ in me, the hope of glory glory amen god is with us say god is with me and so i will testify father we will testify by your mighty power in the name of jesus amen and and on it and what god when god shows up in our situation he comes in all his glory he comes to show his glory when he said to martha he says your brother will rise again just declare it over your life say i will rise again my testimonies will rise again my children will rise again my descendants will rise again my marriage will rise again my career will rise again my finances will rise again all the good things that god has blessed me with shall rise again say i will rise i shine for my light has come and the glory of the living god is risen upon me kings shall come to my light nations shall come to the brightness of my rising in the name of jesus amen why should our parents die when christ is here when jesus christ is here why should their marriages fail when jesus christ is here why should we die before our time when jesus christ is here why should we lose our testimony when jesus christ is here why should we lack joy peace and happiness when jesus christ is here the devil is a liar the devil is a liar I say christ in me the hope of glory my testimony will rise my testimony will shine for christ in me the hope of glory amen so martha answered i so jesus said to martha your brother will rise again and she thought he was talking about the resurrection she says i know he will rise after the in the resurrection i, I know he will rise again at the last day jesus said to her listen i'm not talking about the last day woman like some of us feel like we need to understand the power of god when i was going through my own dark times 
I will tell God how great he is. God, God, you can do bigger than this thing I'm asking you for. You have done better. Ah, I know who you are. See, you need to know your God. I need to let him know that. See, I know you. And I and, and at the same time, Job knew God. And he told him, all the days of my appointed time will I wait until my change comes. Because he knew the God he serves. And that's the same thing for us. We know this God. I... I th- ah, you're laughing. I told, I said, I know Elisha Jubai, you can do more than this. I'm just asking you to, to bless me with this uh, open door. You can do bigger things. If I, you've done greater things. So, so, so I did not give up. And we know he has done great things. And he will keep doing great things. As far as I'm concerned, my life must show his glory. My life will declare your glory. In the name of Jesus. Let's just decree that over our lives. Every area of our lives. Say, in the name of Jesus, I will show forth the glory of God. In the land of the living, my testimonies will show forth the glory of God. In the land of the living, my husband, my children, my career, my progress, my family, all my descendants. Corporate prayers will show and declare the glory of God. In the name of Jesus, and everything that pertains to us, Lord, will show and declare your glory. By the power in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said, yes, Lord. But she said, yes, but she didn't really believe. She said, yes, Lord. I believe that you are the Messiah, the son of God, who is to come into the world. After she had said it, she went back and called her sister Mary aside. She didn't understand because she was grieving. She was going through a lot. So Mary at the same time was crying. I'm just going to fast forward because of time. When Mary reached, and I'm in verse 32 now. When Mary reached the place where Jesus was and she saw him, she fell at his feet. Father, I cover this prayer line with the blood of Jesus. Every distraction, every spirit, every foul spirit, we, we, we bind and cast them out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Any power that wants to interrupt what you are doing in our lives, we send, we shout Holy Ghost fire. We plead the blood of Jesus. Our testimonies will not be stolen. Our joy will not be stolen. We ask, oh Lord, that you blind every evil eye that is watching us that wants to cause cause havoc or wreck havoc in our midst we bind you by the power in the name of jesus amen we decree this is a holy place this is a holy ground the lord is here and only the will of god will stand in jesus holy name we pray amen the devil is a liar jesus is here somebody said jesus is here jesus is here okay i just felt i just god just led me to say that prayer so Verse 32, when Mary reached the place where Jesus was and she saw him, guess what happened? She fell at his feet and she said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. The same thing her sister said. Then Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come along with her also weeping. So Jesus was moved in his spirit. So let me tell you, whenever whenever we're going through situations and we don't, we don't trust that God can help us. It's sad. I've been there. I've been there. One time I was when I was a student and in, in college and I was I was struggling with an assignment with a thesis. I had like a few days to submit and I hadn't even finished. And God the Holy Spirit just spoke to me in the midst of it and said, like, why, Renny, why are you acting like you don't have a God? Like you need help clearly. Why don't you ask me for this help that you need? And so I feel like so, so, so many times God is just up there looking at his children, not praying, not asking, struggling, refusing to call on him. And it's like, if only you just say the word, I will be there. It says at the mention of the name of Jesus. That problem will bow. Say my problems will bow. Every problem in my life, every Goliath in my life. See, let me tell you, the prayer comes first. The word of faith comes first. 
first when david was attacking goliath the first thing he came that came out of david's mouth was like was this who art thou O uncircumcised philistine before the army of the living god surely you shall be defeated david first of all destroyed goliath and the powers behind him in prayer and then he manifested in the physical so father tonight in the name of jesus we speak to every negative situation every situation that is not working for our good and we command them to bow to the name of jesus bow to the holy ghost fire bow in jesus name amen we plead the blood of jesus in this place and every one of us that have come with whatever problem it is it shall bow to the name of jesus in Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Our God is here. Amen. So, Jesus was troubled because he says, Ah, see how my people are suffering and I'm here. This is the time you should be excited. Jesus is here. My problems are solved. Jesus is here. Say, Jesus is here. Decree it over your life. Jesus is in my life. Jesus is in my career. I did not give myself this promotion. God gave it to me. I did not give myself this marriage. God gave it to me. God gave it to me. Jesus is here. So no evil shall befall me and my family. By the mighty power in Jesus name. Amen. Okay. So. Jesus said, where is he? Where have you laid him? Then they came, then they showed Jesus where they have laid him. And when Jesus, so the Jews said, you know, because Jesus wept, Jesus, Jesus wept. And my Bible commentary is saying that this tears he was shedding wasn't because Lazarus had died. He shed this tears because he was moved that these people you know it was like i'm here and these people don't even see it so let me read let me read what my commentary says it says he was weeping not because lazarus was dead jesus knew he was about to raise lazarus from the dead but he was moved because of the same sin that prompted his outrage because he he felt like why are you weeping why are you guys weeping i am here so this grief and compassion was just total like he, he felt so i'm trying to understand i'm trying to explain what he was he was mourning at their shall i say unbelief or disbelief that anything could have happened it's like i don't know how to i don't let me let me try to bring it home it's like the person that can solve all your problems is standing right in front of you and instead of you to say god save me i know you can you're weeping you're complaining you're saying god if you were here he would not have died if you were here you would not he would not have died he would not have died he would but god is like but i'm here why are you saying if i was here but i am here say jesus is here he's like yes yes i know but i am here i am right here and that's why jesus wept he didn't weep because oh i love him and he's dead oh what's gonna happen that's self-pity jesus didn't buy into that Jesus is like guys i hear you like if i was here he wouldn't have died Do you understand yeah and they were just weeping the sisters were just fed up and i just like oh god i don't know if i should shout on these people or i should cry and i think he chose to cry <laughs> he, he, cho he literally just chose to cry and that's what happened he's like okay you people should come out go away from here let me raise him up <laughs> and i just want us to open our understanding can he who formed the ears not hear? Can he who formed the eyes not see? Can he who created humans, can he not recreate? Say, Jesus is here. Just declare it over your life. 
Jesus is here. Jesus is here. In my life, Jesus is here. The one who gave me this job. That's what, Ab- that was what Abraham understood. That. That's why he didn't bother himself. When God said, kill Isaac, he said, well, you gave him to me anyways. I know you can give, give me another one if I want or if I ask for it. So if you want me to kill Isaac, sure, he is yours, God. I give it back to you. Because what? You can do better. No matter what he has ever done in your life. He can do better. Our God is a God of that can do all things. He does the impossible. He can do better in the name of Jesus. Amen. So yes, Jesus wept. And then people thought, ah, he too, he's sad. Lazarus has died. But no, <laughs> they didn't get the picture. So people, some people, some people there now they say, ah, ah, could he? Could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man, could he not kept him from dying as if death was the end? And that's what Jesus is saying. Mary, Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. I am, I am he. I resurrect and I bring back to life. Not only on the last day, but even now. So I want us to speak over the situations that we have forgotten. Situations that we have that we have closed the page, that we have closed the chapters, that we have said it's too late. God can't do anything here anymore. And I want you to lay your hands on that situation. I want you to pray over that situation and just say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the dead come back to life. Let every dead thing that you have given to me come back to life. Things that blesses dead glory, dead honor, dead power, dead testimonies, let it begin to come back to life. Things that Satan believed that I have I have completely shut this up it can never open up in my kids life again things that the devil feels he has finished let us begin to raise our voice to heaven father in the name of jesus let the dead come back to life we plead the blood of jesus we shout holy ghost fire destroy the works of darkness destroy the host of darkness let heaven come down today let the kingdom of god be manifested in our midst today in the name of jesus amen father let our praises rise let our prayers rise let our testimonies rise let every dead thing every dead thing that every dead glory every dead honor let it begin to rise come back to life in the name of jesus amen dead glory in our marriage come back to life Dead glory in our future come back to life. Dead glory in our children's lives come back to life. Dead glory in our parents' lives come back to life. Dead glory in my life, in all our lives, we decree and declare come back to life by the mighty power in Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. And so finally, when Jesus got to where Lazarus was laid, he said, take away the stone. They, they took away the stone and then they said by this time there was a very bad odor <sighs> that's what um martha said how can we take away the stone like there's a bad odor right now but Jesus said that doesn't stop me from doing what i want to do nothing can stop god from doing what he wants to do in our lives amen amen so finally jesus said and i love how confident he is and I want us to go back and recognize how confident God is. See, when we are far from the word of God, that's when we lose hope. That's when we lose faith. But when we are close to the word of God, that's when we gain confidence. That's when we gain renewed confidence. When we are close to the word of God. Just begin to plead the blood of Jesus. See, I plead the blood. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over my situations, over corporate prayers, over every one of us praying. Say, I plead the blood. We plead the blood of Jesus. Our testimonies are sealed in the blood of Jesus. Our testimonies are covered in the blood of Jesus. No weapon formed or fashion against us shall prosper. Every Every tongue that rise up against us, Lord Jesus, we condemn your power in the name of Jesus. Rabo koto yere bosekete. Jesus said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me. But I said this for the benefit of the people standing here. 
that they may believe that you sent me. When he said this, Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. Say my marriage, come out of obscurity. Everything that God has given to you, we call them forth. Call your testimonies forth. Call your breakthroughs forth. Call your promotion forth. I call forth my promotion. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out from the chains of death. Come out from the chains of wickedness. Come out in the name of Jesus. Amen. We call forth our testimonies. We call forth our testimonies. Rabo Koto. Father, as we pray these prayers, give your angels charge over us. Let your angels save God our prayers and take it to your throne room. We receive answers, speedy answers to our prayers by the mighty power in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we cover our prayers and testimonies with the blood of Jesus. Lord, we declare and declare no weapon form nor fashion against us and our testimony shall prosper by your mighty power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every evil I watching us be blinded be blinded be blinded by the holy ghost power and holy ghost fire and thunder in the name of jesus amen yes lord yes lord he says come out and the dead man say my dead marriage my dead womb every testimony that has been dead what people did not believe that could come out of your life my dead glory come out my dead glory came out he says the dead man came out his hands and feet wrapped and just said take off the grave clothes and let him go see clothing is important as much as you be as as much as we might not we might trivialize it god god explained this to me the same way what is bound on earth is bound in heaven and the same way what is loosed on earth is loosed in heaven clothing says a lot lot about us and about where we're going so you don't want to contract if god calls you royalty in the spirit you don't want i digress but you don't want to contradict what god has already said about you so if god has called you royalty you want to be dressed in royalty in the in in, in real life right and we saw that in the proverbs that one woman she's always clothed in royalty wealth and royalty adorns her so father right now we spiritually by faith we take off every cloth every grave clothing and we walk in the newness of christ in the name of jesus amen say over my family over my marriage over my career over my testimonies testimonies over our businesses father over our lives we take off every filthy garment lord by your power we take off the filthy garments we take off the grave clothes we take off the rags and we put on christ we put on christ we put on our shield we put on our helmet of salvation we put our we put on our sword and we declare we cannot weapon form the fashion against us shall prosper because god is here the devil is a liar have your will lord yes it says let's pray say father decorate me with your righteousness decorate me with your righteousness and our final prayer point and our final prayer point before we go is lord baptize me with your spirit with your holy ghost and power baptize me in your blood of jesus father lord i baptize us with our blood of jesus baptize lord us lord with, with the blood of jesus baptize us with the holy ghost fire baptize our marriages with your holy ghost fire baptize our testimonies with the holy ghost fire baptize us oh lord with your holy ghost fire and power for in jesus holy and everlasting name we pray amen thank you jesus thank you so much for praying with us god bless for praying with us god bless you god keep you god cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you god grants you peace shalom Mwah. bye